Um, okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, derive the uh, PMF for the multinomial distribution, and we're going to see how it's a generalization of the binomial distribution, or alternatively, how the binomial distribution is just a special case of the multinomial distribution. So in the previous video, we had uh, defined some new notation. We had said that the vector x, which remember is this vector of random variables, so I'll write it out for what it is, x1, x2, all the way up to x little k, and I kept confusing little k for little n, uh, which is uh, x1 is the number of balls in uh, basket 1, x2 is the number of balls in basket 2, all the way up to xk, which is the number of balls in basket well, uh, basket um, k, is, oh dear, not that, is multinomially distributed, and then we put a little k down there to remind ourselves that it's a, a vector of k components, n, and then we have, that's just the number of tennis balls we're throwing into the baskets, and then with a probability vector p, which is p1, uh, p2, all the way down to uh, p uh, k, which is um, which gives us all the probabilities. P one is the probability that a single tennis ball, when I'm throwing it, goes into basket one. P two is the probability that when I throw it, a single tennis ball goes into basket two. Uh, P k is the num possibility, uh, the probability that when I throw it, a single tennis ball goes into uh, basket um, k. Uh, so uh, P one uh, p plus P two all the way up plus pk must equal 1, because I do throw the bat a ball into some tennis, in, into some basket, I don't miss. Uh, okay, uh, so, uh, now what we'd like to know is what is the probability that x1 is equal to some specific, let's say, little, little x1, uh, and x2 is equal to some little x2, and all the way up to uh, xk is equal to some little x, uh, little k, uh, no dear, little x k, I should say. Uh, so another way of writing that, that that's in terms of uh, writing it in terms of an intersection of all the individual random variables, but we could write this as the probability that the whole vector x1, x2, all the way up to x k is equal to this little vector x1, little x1, little x2, all the way up to little x k. So that's another way you could write that. Okay, but basically it means like the identical thing. We want uh, the probability that you throw x little x1 uh, balls into uh, basket 1, little x2 well, balls into basket 2, uh, little xk balls into basket k, etc. And of course all of those numbers should add up to n. If, if not, if x1, if, um, so I'll just put that, this is equal to uh, 0 instantly if x1 plus x2 uh, plus x3 all the way on, plus uh, all the way up to xk, does not equal uh, n, and it's also equal to zero if any of them is not an integer value. So if um, if x1, uh, x2, x3, um, let's say all the way up to xk, are not equal to uh, 0, 1, 2, it has to be one of those numbers. They all have to be within those numbers. Okay, so that puts some pretty heavy constraints. So we know it's zero in a lot of times, a lot of a lot of possibilities for this uh, k top of real numbers. It's going to just be equal to zero. Uh, but in the case where these do are all integer values here, uh, or are all these specific values, i.e. between zero and n, uh, and they all add up to n, then we're in business, basically. Uh, the probability will not be zero. Okay, so what I am saying is I want you to... So let's say we have one of these cases, firstly. Let's say that the little x1s, little x2, little x3, k, the little xi's, we'll say, do satisfy this property. What is uh, the probability that, uh, that... What's the probability of that actually happening, basically? So, that means we need to throw little x1 tennis balls into, into the basket 1, uh, so, basically, if we were to list out all our tennis balls, uh, if we listed out, uh, if we think about throwing our tennis balls in one by one, we can say which basket it goes into. So, it could go into, uh, bas uh, the first one could go into basket one, it could go into, bas or it could go f all the way up to basket K, basically. So, every single tennis ball can go into uh, basket one, basket two, basket three, all the way up to basket K. So basically, uh, what we're doing is now viewing it in terms of the tennis balls rather than the baskets. Uh, so what we could do is we could list out uh, 
where every single, all N tennis balls go to. So we could write this out as a list. So let's say basket, uh, the first tennis ball goes into basket one. Let's say the second ball goes into basket one. Then at two, three, one, four, five, one, eight, etc. And we list it all out to N. And of course, each one of these values can take on a value one to K. Okay, so excuse me.